Well, hello, man cavers. You join me on a treasure hunt. While out and about the small and up a local establishment, buying up some fruit tree or two, I come across, looking over the back fence, a scrap pile. I see something on this scrap pile of great interest and went and saw the owner and said, can I buy that off you? And he said, you can have it. So here I am. I said, I shall be back on my trailer in an hour. So I'm back. Let's have a look at this scrap pile. Ah, what have we got? So, without giving too much away, here is one scrap pile, here's another scrap pile. What have we found of interest in the scrap pile? ta -da! What is this thing? I think this is some sort of electric buggy. Oh, yes. So I've been told, yes, you can have it. It's even got the ball hitch. So I've got to get it out of there and get it in the trailer. Ah, well, old man capers, we are back home and we have the scooter thing. So let's get this off the trailer and let's try and see. Well, let's have a look around. So let's get this thing off. We just got to do a bit of untying. There we go. Hiya! Right, let's get this booty off and see what that's all about. I believe this is the seat to it. That was also on the scrap heap. Put heat alongside. Uh, this is heavier and bigger than you think. Uh, I busted quite the hernia. To get this thing in here. Ah! And I'm going to have to do quite the hernia to get it out again, aren't I? I just know it. Let's see if we can get this thing back over. Right, that's one front wheel over. Let's see if we can get him to drop. There we go. Oh, that is damn heavy, guys. Do our steering work. Oh, yeah, we've got steering that works. Is there anything on the front got to catch that? No. I think that should just run down the ball. There we go. Oh, I see. So that lift up, and then you do your steering. We have a brake which is thoroughly seized. Well, we've got indicators and headlights. Hmm. What's this cable on here? I don't know. Shall we come in closer and have a look at this thing? So here it is. I know I see nothing about this apart from it was on the scrap heap. And you know me. So, it's one of them. An EIV Sport M has headlights indicators it has a nice little rack on the back and a tow bar and the guy used said they used it around the business to tow a trailer see we have a headlight switch thoroughly seized we have an indicator switch that really don't work we have a bit of cracked plastic ah look at that for a boot we got in there we got a massive boot we have no key, but I'm sure if we peep in the corner, that'll only be a two-wire switch, I'm guessing. There you go, we see in the back, there's the switch, two wires. Breach them, and that's that bypassed. Simples. I like the tow, tow hitch what's been put on. This is quite the machine, isn't it? Won't this be perfect to bomb around the yard on? And you might be surprised how well that'll clean up. I wonder if I can get air in them damn tyres though. Or have I got to put tubes in them? Get you in a tripod. And we'll see quickly if we can get this back cover off or whether it'll come off or not. What's this red thing? You reckon that's a safety reset? Possibly, possibly not. Now I'm assuming this will just lift off. I 
think. Ah, here we go. I assume there's wires on the back of the lights. No, there isn't. Now oh, there is wires. But they've all been disconnected. Look, yeah. Ah, something we can reinstate. Well, here's the nub of what we've got. So she clearly takes two. She clearly takes two 12 volt batteries. Oh, we have a mess in here. We have some wires. We've got two big motors. The guy did say this thing was working, but the batteries went dead in it and wouldn't hold a charge. And they didn't bother replacing them because they were quite expensive. But for what we want to do around here, I think a couple of good car batteries would do the job. Oh, that's certainly what we could try on this before we put brand new batteries on. We could just try it with a couple of car batteries just to make sure the thing works. Oh, there you go, straighten that battery out. And if it does work, we know that might be worth a couple hundred quid putting new batteries in. There are our batteries, 75 amp. Oh, these are basically like mobility scooter batteries, and it takes two, so who knows? Where a charging port is, I do not know. We have a... Oh, that looked like some form of battery clamp. And I assume that seat sit on these brackets here. Somewhere, possibly. I don't know. Will this thing work? Probably not. Will we ever do anything with it? I hope so. But I thought... I thought I can't bear to see something this cool on a scrap heap. An EV Sport with a large luggage area look. I mean, you could bomb around anywhere on this thing. It would be cool. Would be nice to get the headlights and indicators working, but at the minute they're the least of all problems. Ah, here's that button what was on the top here, look. The red button. It seems like it comes on to this switch. Which don't appear. Oh, that's got one electrical connection on. Oh, two electrical connections. What are they? Do you reckon that's a reset in case you overload it? And there's a. Do you reckon that's a thermal reset? I think we might have to do some wiring. Yeah, because there's wires going into this chocolate block that don't come out the other side anywhere. So what the hell are they for? Or were they just fit and never used? Because there's nothing coming out the other side of that. Look how bizarre. So, this is another thing we're going to have to get around to doing. So far, all the other wires, yeah, they... Nothing look like that's been cut. I can see us definitely having to have all this switch gear off here. What's this? Is this a... Oh, that's to hold your handbrake on. You pull that in, put that down, and that hold the brake on for a handbrake. Yeah, I see what that is now. Right, okay. So, yeah, you squeeze him in. Don't go because I seized. Like you squeeze that, clip that over. There's your handbrake. So we've obviously got a cable to free off. But there you go. Who needs brakes? So yes, here is. What's this attachment on here? That put. That put a strap, which make it look ten times worse. Uh, if it can look ten times worse, I think now we might have to cut that off. I think. But here we go guys, there is our EV free scooter. Let's put this back cover on. And what's this box here? Let's just, ah, I reckon this hole here, I reckon this hole here, which this got this gray box. I reckon that hole here sits over this motor and that's to let that motor up a little. What do you reckon? But I can't see any wires. I can't see two wires where that red button is. All I can see is another strap. Ah, that's right off, look. Here we go. No, I can't see any wires that are, that are just hanging there that look like they should go on this red button. Or are they these yellow ones down here? There's a bunch of yellow. Yeah, two yellow wires down there which have been bunched up and cable tied out the way. I reckon that could well be it. 
Right, let's get this bag on. There. Ah, oh, I see. This is quite a cool gadget, actually. And how the devil does that seat go up? Ah! Let's have a look here. Wait a sec. We'll get this seat back on. Roughly. But I think, once this is held up, this seat go in this front hole. There we go. There we are. That's roughly how it goes, I think. I think that seat goes in that front bracket there. Look, see that there? there. Well, there you go. There is our scooter. Dare I sit on it? I don't know. Oh, -ho! and we're on. We're steering. We're on. Oh, look at that. All right, well, a bit of adjustment. Ah, there's, a, there's a screw knob down there. Hold your steering in place like that. Ah. Oh, I see. Ah, she's tightening, look. Yeah. There's a knob down there to tighten where you want to keep the steering. Wow. I am mightily impressed. So far, mightily impressed. Yes, let's have a seat. There we go. Da -da -ba -ba. Ah. So there's our scooter. There's a horn as well, look. Oh, that's a bit seized up. I bet that's a horn button. I say, I think we need to take all it. Ah, that's all brittle. Yep, I think we need to take all these controls off. Oh, there's your horn. I don't know what this one's for. Let's ask your throttle. That could be your thumb throttle, but go. There's a horn, indicators and lights. But I'm not, I wouldn't mind Ben that you could get a cheap motorcycle switch to replace that. But I don't like our chances of bringing that one up. But there you go. I do like this thing with its open and boot, so we can get all means of sundries in our boot. And I think for a free machine, it's perfect. Ah, there we go. Look at that. Oh, there's a... What's all this switches here? Where? Ah, ah, I don't know what this... What's this symbol mean, guys? I guess this one's hazard lights. So that'll be four-way flashes. I always think that one's forward. That's reverse. This'll be a uh, throttle. Zing, zing, zing. So I'm guessing forward, throttle, reverse, throttle... Half, ah, half and full, I reckon that's half power and full power. What do you reckon? Do you reckon that's like half speed, full speed, hazard lights? And this one's forward and back. State of battery charge, I'm guessing. I'm guessing full, half empty. There's a charge socket there. I'm guessing we could probably get a charge to fit that. It looks very good. And I reckon with a good tea cut up, this plastic would actually clean up quite well. Yes, I reckon we'll uh, get the wheels off. See if we can get some air into them. See if they hold air. Doubtful, but you never know. That front one's actually not off the front ones. This one's got wind in it, look. This one got a little bit in it. But I think that'd pump up. So I don't think the front ones are actually got punches. These back ones could be the issue. But that's something we can sort out. I see someone's put the Vauxhall badge on the back. Along with that lovely hitch. Oh, oh. Fixed. So yes, you know, if every fix is as easy as that, really, we're on a good thing. But there you go. It was just a quick, quick video of what we've managed to pick up for free. Isn't that a beast? Right, I'm going to leave this video here. Thank you kindly for watching, like, and subscribe. There will be more auction videos coming up soon, but there will also be more repair videos to keep my original audience occupied, because I know not all of you are into, you know, the auction videos. But there will be some repair videos coming up as well. Right, I'm going to go... I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye for now. Ha-ha!